Hey, this is Comics and Games, and uh, today I will be reviewing set number 76133 Spider Man Car Chase, and it has 52 pieces, two minifigures, one car, one glider, that, and a uh, thing of money. This will just, uh, I don't have the box, but I'll. I, I do have instructions, so. Yeah. So, it is a 4 plus set. That's. Uh, yeah. It is a Spider Man set. Like Spider Man. And it is. 33 pages with. I don't know how many steps. I guess I'll just leave the figures. Alright, so here's the new ish ish Spider Man. It's the one that came in the 2019 2020 sets. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's got some nice printing and it's, uh, let's see if I can do this now. Zoom in on the eyes because I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick this up, but you've never seen this figure. He has this like lightish, lightish blue. So it's the normal black with the lightish with a metallic like blue and the white. And then the webbing isn't black, it's actually a really dark red. Yeah, because it's a four plus set, he doesn't have dual molded legs. This is a pretty good figure. Um, <clears throat> I do think Chilling Cat Bunny is uh, how uh, any has uh, some people are some people can't, are starting to complain that uh, this figure comes in every Lego Spider Man set. Well, it does suck. Uh, I think. Is actually, this could be a better Spider Man if, like, the dual molded ones. The dual molded one has leg printing and also arm printing. And, uh, they can clearly do it. So, why is it the MCU Spider Man gets arm printing, but the normal, this Spider Man doesn't? They can also do, do leg printing with dual molded. They are perfectly capable, but they just they just choose not to. I also think they should uh they should do different expressions. Maybe if you've never collected Spider Man and you get a few of these, it's fine. But after a while, it it, it does start to kind of suck having a hundred of these guys. But uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good looking Spider Man. And here's the Green Goblin. Uh, this is, I don't, I don't know if this is new. I don't think he is, I think he is. But, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> got the purple on him. I can do this. Got the purple on him. Uh, he's got green arms, purple hands. Nice smiling face. Get falling. There we go. He, he does have a second face. More angry face. Let's see? I think it looks good. It does have back printing. It's his back with a, with a pouch. Oh, yeah. And, and that's what the back of the Spider Man looks like. Yeah. 
Alright, so taking a look at Green Goblin's Glider. It, it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty simple. It's... I think it's a little too big, though. It's... It's too... It's really small and really big at the same time. It's... It's, it's too small, but, uh... It, it's really big on the sides. But, uh, you can take... You take your Green Goblin... Plop him on, and he can fly. I'll take this, and yeah, he can fly. Also, for that, this, he does come with this. It's a, uh, it's an, it's an orange head. There's no printing on it, but it's supposed to be like a pumpkin bomb. There's no printing on it, it just has a flame piece at the top. And it also does come with uh, this bag, you clip it onto the back. Don't know why he would need, I don't know why the Green Goblin would need a money bag if he owns a big tech corporation. Yeah. And just a one by two hundred dollar money bill thing. And that aside, here's the Spider Man car. And that's the top of it. And it can roll. Those are flame pieces on the side. So, it being a four plus, it does have this giant brick. You basically just add stuff onto it. Don't know why Spider Man would need a car don't know where he got the money to do it but it's not the worst thing certainly I just don't I would use I would tear this part and use the parts I just don't know what I'm gonna use the red and blue for because I can tear apart a Batmobile and use it for like Star Wars stuff this is very clearly spider-man but other than that you can take your spider-man figure Plop them down, and also, and then, you can, he doesn't actually come with any, like, these pieces, the web pieces that come in the newer sets, but, uh, it comes with this web piece, and this big piece, and you can plop it on there, and then you remove that, do that, and yeah. It does come plain pieces for reasons. It's pretty chunky. It's it's big. It's it's not the worst thing. I, I don't know what else to say. So there you go. And so for final thoughts, should you buy this set? I think if you don't have a Green Goblin, sure, if you if you do, you can skip this. There's nothing groundbreaking. The car isn't the worst thing. I just personally won't use it. Um, Spider-Man also isn't the best. I think if you want to get a good Spider-Man, get the one that comes with Carnage. And Miles, that, that $20 set. It's not the worst, but I really hope we get another set that has Green Goblin in it, that has bigger wings, because I did make my own wings. I do have, I did make my own wings, and that's what they look like. It's slimmer, it's bigger, they just look more practical, at least for me. Uh, I think Spider-Man could be better. Um, I, I really wish they would just give him arm printing because they, they clearly can do it. They've done it with the MCU Spider-Man, and they don't have to worry about it being fitted. It's bright blue and bright. It's bright blue. Other than that, I, I, I think that's it.
you like to see more reviews and other things, consider su subscribing. If you want to see more reviews, tell me in the comments. If you like it, hit the like button. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, this isn't this isn't my uh, finest moment reviewing because I've never done a Lego review. So there's that. All right, see ya.